Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be showing you how to use the neon glow effect in HitFilm Express. <laughs> Okay, so the neon glow effect. Um, this effect is really easy to use. It has a lot of different uses too. Um, today we're gonna be applying it to a text layer to get it, give it uh, a, some nice little flair to it, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and make our composite shot. We're just gonna put in P51 logo. Cause we're gonna be, you know, working on the protocol 51 logo for a, a little bit here with this, uh, um, neon glow effect. We're going to add in our text. We're going to just protocol 51. Okay, so it's really super simple. What we're going to go ahead and do is highlight new text, go over to the effects panel. We're going to type in glow and go down to lights and flares, the neon glow effect. We're going to go ahead and apply that to the text layer. And as you can see, it pops up with a nice little white glow right behind or in front of the text or object or layer that you apply it to. Um, so what we're going to do is drop the control panel down. We're going to go ahead and change the color to a red color. That way it gives it more of a neon sign look to it as opposed to just the white on white text. Um, and then you've got a few different um, controls under this, okay? The intensity, of course, is going to um, change how bright or how dim the, the glow is. Of course, the color under that, and then the expansion and the radius. So if we change the radius, you can see that it actually, you know, changes, of course, the radius around the object that it's applied to. Um, if you change the expansion, it will actually change how far the glow goes from its center point. So in this case, the center point is the text layer, and so all of the text within that layer is going to be um, the center point. So you change that expansion, and it will change the distance that the glow effect occurs between the letters. Okay. And so we're going to keep it at those values there. Those actually don't look too bad. We're actually going to change the radius down just a little bit. There we go, to give it a little less of an intense, intensified look. Um, and now what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and animate this, and we can change anything that we want to within position or scale. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to a 3D object. Go, go ahead and add a camera to it. Um, and let's go ahead and go to two views. That way we've got a little second view over here that we can see the top view here. Um, and the reason why I like to animate or, you know, change posi positions, excuse me, um, with 3D objects inside of a 3D space is because you get a lot um, better movement, a lot more free range to animate a lot of your objects, a lot of your 3D objects, a lot of your text, different planes and assets in hit film express in a 3d space as opposed to a 2d space so what we're going to do is we're actually going to have this um kind of you know left to right and kind of swing in if that makes any sense so first we're going to go ahead and get rid of the grids over here because they're kind of kind of off-putting when you've got you know so many lines within that box so let's go ahead and take those out you just hit that little square there whichever um screen you have highlighted will actually control within that view since we had the top view over here on the right highlighted, take, change the grids off, and that goes for the same with all of your other tools as well. So let's go ahead and highlight our new text. Um, we're actually going to drop down our transform. That way we can um, keyframe a lot of the positions. That way we can you know, go ahead and animate through this. Um, and you're going to be able to see kind of a little bit of a blur we're going to add to this too and the neon effect is going to earn the neon glow effect is going to give it kind of a neat little um, effect as it moves across the screen so we actually want to start um, with this keyframe let's go ahead and move this up out of the way not the scale we're going to go ahead and move this guy um, let's move him away out of screenshot over here to the left and then get him just out of screenshot we're going to go ahead and keyframe his position and then we're going to skip ahead let's go ahead a full second and then we're going to drag him back to the position that we want him to end up in apparently the logo today is a him 
Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and make sure it's centered. Centered as best we can anyway. I mean, you can make it perfect if you want to, but in this case, it's not terribly, you know, a huge deal. Um, yeah, that seems that seems right. So let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, that's nice. Okay, all right. So we want to put a little twist on it too. Let's go back to the very beginning, and we're actually going to go to X, Y, and Z rotations. And so what we can do is let's go to the front to see where it's at, and we're going to actually grab the X axis rotation. We're going to rotate him. Um, let's go ahead and do what do you say three rotations in a second just like that let's go ahead and hit play and see how that looks okay all right three rotations it is um and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this little guy right here and we're going to add a motion blur go ahead and hit that that way, whenever it, an object moves or it shows motion, it will blur behind it just a little bit, giving it, you know, just that little bit extra added um, flair to your video, just kind of a thing that you can do for it. Go back to our editor, and we're going to bring in some sound. All right, so just a little bit of a sci-fi weapons charge. I got this from Soundcrate. I'll go ahead and link the description below on where you can um, sign up to get footage crate that you, buy, you guys can use their assets as well. So let's go ahead and drag in our composite shot and drag in our sound. Um, granted, of course, these two are quite a bit different because we've got a lot of the uh, um, extra space that we really don't need. So let's go ahead and hit play. It's a little loud. But I think the sound, let's go ahead and drop that volume down just a little bit. Doesn't quite match up with what we want. Um, looks like we need to shorten it just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and change the speed and duration. We're actually going to go to 80%. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We want to make it go faster. I'm going to go 150%. Eh, no, let's let's change that. Let's go to 125. All right, better. Not too bad. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Gorhambian here with Misfit Studios, as always. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on anything you want to see in HitFilm, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.